Good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. I am currently in a location called Loophead Lighthouse. Now this place has proven absolutely so difficult to get a photograph from land. I mean, I've tried so many freaking times. So it's not that I haven't given up. I've just decided to throw it up to the air to see if I can combat that and see if I can get a decent image. Now, I slept here last night, slept in the camper van and uh, if I'm being honest, I don't know if this morning is going to come off in any way, shape or form. There is a ridiculous amount of low cloud hanging on the horizon. But you know what? It could change in an instant. So, there's a slither of hope. I mean, but look at that sky. It's freaking moody as hell. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go down to the far side uh, of where we're going to go of this uh, the other side of the lighthouse and see if you can set up some bit of a composition for maybe a time lapse or something. Ah, maybe not, but look, I'm going to go down and have a look anyway. And sunrise is in the next 30 minutes and we'll see if something happens with that sky. So I'm going to send out the Mavic 2 Pro and see what we can get. All right, let's truck on. believe it I came down with only one tripod and yesterday I brought and then I kind of need it and I kind of don't I can get I can get something without it but I went down to the cliffs of with two yesterday climbed the whole way down and uh, didn't need any <laughs> that was a way no? the rhino slider evo which has been a blessing in disguise at times and it's a, it's a really fun tool to have, but man, it slows you down and can frustrate your times. So there's pros and cons to owning a time-lapse slider, and they're not cheap either. They're very, very expensive. I mean, like, you do all this work for 10-second clip, 20-second clip, you know, it's, uh, you gotta think about it. Is it actually really, 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 really worth all the hassle and all the money? So, the sky is actually starting to light up a small bit. As you can see here on the controller of the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. So I'm gonna fly it out to a distance. There's some bit of a decent. Uh, put it in sport mode and lash it on out there. Yeah. I gotta get a good, nice bit of a distance out there, you know? So I have no neutral density filter on the drone whatsoever because it still is a bit dark out. So I don't know how long that light is going to last, but I'm guessing not too long. There is light there, but it's uh, it's not amazing, but hell, it's better than fecking nothing for sure. Switch to sort of photo mode. It looks quite nice, but again, let's take the shot. I have my composition down. I mean, it looks lovely. I don't know if you can see it on the back of the screen there. Looks nice, yeah? And the sun has rose, as you can see it, just through here. It's peeking through those clouds, so I think I'm getting something on the drone. But from where the time lapse is, I'm not getting this in any way, shape or form. But it's fine. It's all about the drone this morning. And hopefully the rest of that sky is going to maybe change a bit, but there's so much cloud there, it's not even funny. But uh, yeah, so we're going to change the, the slider maybe over here now in a minute and see what we can get. So the sky behind me is actually looking quite nice, but it's not epic unreal. There's still a big massive uh, cloud bank on the horizon in the distance. Uh, let's see if we can spin around and show you. I don't know if you're going to pick that up there. 
but it's just, just the sun has to pop up behind it and I'm half tempted to just bring the drone in just for a minute until that pops out because it's going to be awesome, I hope. Oh, come on, man. Okay, so what I've done is I run back up to the van. I've been in the gun already because two of my batteries are gone. One of them wasn't fully charged. God damn it, my own fault. Uh, so I have one battery left in the van that could be less than half full. So I brought it back down. It's ready to go back up in the drone but I'm waiting for that sun to pop out from that cloud. Now, it mightn't even happen, but it should. And I really do hope it does. And what I spotted on the way back up to the vent was the composition that, because of the clouds, the way they're formating, I can finally get a composition of the lighthouse, which I've never gotten from land before here. And uh, I better move fast because this light is changing ridiculously fast. And just going over to the corner, just in the car park. Look at that sky, man. That is freaking awesome. Wow. And here is Peter's shot, which is oh so famous. I mean, the light he got in that morning was absolutely epic. Yeah, unreal. Love it. As you can see over here, the light is kicking off in the distance. 
uh, in a certain area, probably um, over by Bridges of Ross, where I'm probably going to head next. Okay guys, let's end the video. Cooking my breakfast, I'm gonna get this in my belly, I am famished. But come here, thank you very much for tuning in for this episode. I know it's not gonna be an unbelievable episode, the light wasn't unbelievable. But I have high hopes for the drone shot. It could come up nice. Uh, I just don't know yet until I get home to the computer. But thank you very much for tuning in and watching this episode. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe, and press that bell notification thing to me jig so you can get notified of future videos. All right, go on, get out of here. Let's go do something productive. See you later. Ayo.